Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with uh, votes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, votes in our post table. So when we upvote or downvote, I'm going to increment that column in the post table and uh, display the sum of the votes. So let's open the post migration. And here I'm going to add a new column, dollar sign table. It's going to be integer. And let's say votes. And the def default is going to be zero. Okay. Now let's save it. Let's run the artisan migrate fresh. So let's open this one, close and say artisan migrate fresh. Okay. Now let's run again the npm run dev. Close this one. And let's go and create new user because right now it's going to be empty. So register a user, test user. And also we need to verify the email. So let's create this and I'm going to verify the email behind the scenes. So let's Okay, now if I refresh, yeah, let's create the community. And I'm going to say Laravel, add something here. And let's create one more for the Vue.js just to have. Good, now let's go to the Laravel and create a first post. Add the URL and add the description. Let's create the second one. Store. Okay. Now here we are going to add the votes. For that, I'm going to create a component. So we can add that component here with the uh, arrow icons. So this one for the up and the another one for the down. And also we are going to reuse that component when we go and show the post here. Add that the same we have in the Reddit. So here we have up and down voting. And if we go to this post, we have up and down. Okay. So let's go and create a voting component. In the VS Code, resources, JS, components create a new file post vote dot view okay now let's add the view three here okay remove this one and add the setup Good. Now here we need the. So let's add the div first. The parent div. Inside we can have a link, an anchor tag. And let's say for now up. A div to display the all the votes so let's say 4k and also another link an anchor tag to display the down vote row key so here we say up and down and now let's add this component in the postcard so here 
in the postcard, here we have the upvote. Instead of that string, let's add the post vote component and make sure we have imported that down there. Yeah. If I save and let's go and see what we have. Yeah, here we have the up, 4K and down. Now just we need to design that. We need to add the SVGs. So let's copy this one and go to the post vote and add it here. Just we are not going to use the anchor tag. So let's add that vote here, that SVG first. Close it down and let's go and say down vote, a down arrow, copy the SVG and paste it here. Save and yeah, now if I refresh, we have something like this. I'm going to add to this div a class and I'm going to say width to be 12. It's going to be flex and flex call. And let's add also margin 2 and padding 2. And maybe BG slate 200. Save this and yeah, here it is. Or maybe just remove this, I don't like. So yeah, now this is going to be a link, not an anchor tag. So let's uh, import first the link here inside the setup. And why we have something like this? Because we don't close the SVG. The same thing down there. Yeah, now, okay. Good. Now let's import that link. So import link from the inertia view 3 and instead of anchor tag let's use the link with a shref for now let's just add the hashtag the same thing down there so link with a shref hashtag okay Now let's save and let's see how it's going to look. Refresh. Uh, yeah, something like this, but I want to, when I hover it, I want to change the color. And also, so when I hover this up, it's going to be blue. On down, it's going to be red. And if I come here, uh, this is red up and, but I'm going to do blue and red. Okay, so let's add a link. I'm going to add the class and say here text by default is going to be text gray 400 and on hover the text is going to be blue uh, 500. Now let's copy this and Go down when we have this link, paste that in, just change from blue to be red. Save, come here. And now if I click, if I hover it, yeah, it's blue, red. Okay. Now we added the component let's create the controller and the road and then create a logic so when we click here we are going to upvote and we are going to create a post vote and also increment that uh, column we created in the post and also let's open the post model because we added one more field here so let's say votes okay like this 
save and let's go and inside the let's go and create a, a, the controller so here i'm going to say artisan make controller backend i'm going to add in the backend because i want to protect the up and down voting okay so the when we i went to vote we need to be logged in and for that i'm going to add in the backend and let's say here post vote controller hit enter now let's go inside the roads and create the roads for that logic so the road is going to be inside here and let's say a road the method is going to be post slash post slash add the post slug okay and then for this one i'm going to say up a vote like this and use the post vote controller okay the method is going to be up vote like this and i'm going to give it the name to be post dot upvote now let's copy and duplicate this one just change from from upvote to be downvote like this save now we need to import this controller and that's it about this video see you in the next video to make the logic for the up and down vote okay so see you there